Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendall and today I'm going to be doing a sorority recruitment and tips, tricks, a little bit of my experience and just things to help you guys that are going to be going through it next fall um, or even spring um, depending on what your university does. I go to the University of Alabama and am in the sorority Zeta Tau Alpha. Um, I love it. I am so... Um, excited for Rush and it's gonna be so fun being a part of actually Russian girls this year because now I've been through it and I know how it is so I thought I would give you guys some tips and tricks so that is what I will be doing today and let's just hop right into the video so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna give a little bit of a rundown on how we do it at the University of Alabama so the first day is convocation that day you um, have like you get your t-shirts for um, philanthropy round. There's two t-shirts. They also, you have like speakers um, that are part of Greek life. They're super cool. We always have this one lady who does it. I don't remember her name, but she is so funny and it's really fun. Um, you get put in your rogue high groups, um, which basically are groups, I think it's alphabetical. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it's like alphabetical and um they basically just you like hang out you get your row caught it's pretty chill that day like you don't really have to worry about anything a lot of girls are still moving into their dorms so you just wear like running shorts and a t-shirt or whatever just be comfortable then the that's like technically i call it like day zero it's like the starting base but nothing really happens so then day one and day two are ice water teas. So both of those days are full long days. You see half of the days on day one or half the houses on day one and then the other half on day two. Um, the, the first two days you're gonna wanna wear um, like a sundress, um, something comfortable, fun, airy, light because it is so hot at Alabama during rush. Um, and if you're rushing anywhere in the South, you will experience it. It is so unbelievably hot. So make sure to wear things that you're comfortable in. Um, then day three and four are philanthropy rounds. So you're going to wear like a pair of flowy shorts and then they'll give you the shirts. They provide the shirts. And then this day is like definitely the more relaxed um, attire. So like wear like sneakers or sandals. I would not wear wedges this day. Um, definitely stick to like sneakers or sandals. Three, four are philanthropy. Then day five and six are sisterhood round. Um, and sisterhood round, you're going to want to wear like more of a fancier dress, something that maybe you'd wear to like a nice brunch or maybe like a baby shower or I don't know, something that's just like a little bit nicer than a sundress. And definitely wear wedges on this day. And then day seven, no, yes, day seven, <laughs> going to be pref. And that is when you wear the fanciest dress out of the entire week. So something you'd wear to like a wedding and heels. Make sure that you bring like a pair of sandals or flip flops or Birkenstocks or sneakers or whatever you want um, in between the two houses for pref round because you're not going to want to walk if you have to from one side of sorority row to the other side of sorority row in like stilettos, that's not fun. So make sure to bring a, another pair of shoes. So that is like kind of the rundown for the week and then the next day is bid day, day eight. Um, so that is kind of how the week lays out. So now I'm going to get into specific tips. I wrote down a bunch of different things on my phone. Um, I'm going to try to make this video not like insanely long, but I do have a lot of tips and I want you guys to be as prepared as possible. So obviously this doesn't apply to every single um, university. They all different universities have different rush processes, but I honestly think these tips can be applied to no matter where you're rushing. Um, but obviously this is specifically for um, like Alabama because that's the only thing I've been through. First tip is to be all around respectful to every single house that you go into, um, to all the girls you talk to and even like your rogue highs and the girls in your rogue high. Um, you want to make sure that even if you walk out of a house that you didn't absolutely love to not 
talk bad about it because there could be a girl right next to you that loved that house and everyone has different experiences so you don't want to look like a girl who talks bad about other people um and also like if you're just if you are enjoying being in a house like they know like the girl rushing you you can tell like you guys get each other's vibes and the best thing to do is just to be nice to everybody because honestly everyone has friends in all different sororities and you wouldn't want to be rude to someone who's friends with a girl in the house that you do like and girls talk and you just wouldn't want that so just be respectful to absolutely everyone because everyone is going through the same experience and not everyone's gonna end up in the same place everyone has their own place so just be respectful that's really important to my next tip is to take everything that people say with a grain of salt because especially not the girls in the house but the girls in your rokai um because if you think about it everyone and anyone is gonna have something bad to say about a certain house or a girl or a rumor or whatever and it's really important to like take everything that people say with a grain of salt like I said because not everything's true um and also you don't know like someone could be making it up or someone just had a bad experience but that doesn't mean it necessarily needs to affect the way you look at a house um so just make sure to really base off of based off your own opinions off of your experience in the house and talking to the girls not just rumors and what other people are saying around you um my next tip is to genuinely be open-minded now you guys are going to hear this phrase be open-minded the entire week and it's going to be so annoying you're gonna be like i get it like be open-minded like we get it but honestly, like they really are telling you it for a reason and it really is important. I know that like so many people go into rush with like preconceived notions on houses and like reputations. But honestly, so many houses that maybe weren't even on your radar will surprise you. I know that happened to me um, and there were houses that like lasted way longer than I thought they were going to. And that's just because I like went into it with an open mind and genuinely based off of based off my thoughts on the conversations that I had with the girls, not just like, oh, whatever is on Greek rank or whatever so-and-so is saying, like, that's not important. What's important is, is that you feel a connection with the house. So just make sure to keep an open mind throughout the entire process. When it comes to actually going into the house and having conversations with the girls, I think my biggest tip is to just have genuine, real conversations with them. Um, and feel free to ask the girls rushing you questions because they're just as nervous as you are a lot of times sophomores are rushing you and they've never done this before and they're nervous just as much as you're nervous so ask them questions too it's not just like a one um, way interview they want to hear about you and you should want to hear about them I always remember always asking houses and girls that um I really liked questions like when you went through this process what made you want to pick this house and it really um, helped me make my decision hearing their experience um, on way on why they picked the house that they're in and feel free to ask some questions it's not just like a crazy interview you want to have fun I remember one house I was talking to a girl about like chicken fingers and like best barbecue like in Alabama like that's fun you don't have to just like talk about like your major and like what you do over the summer you can talk about fun things too my next tip is this is like specifically for if you are going to be in the south where it is going to be hot all I have to say is it is so unbelievably hot and you're sweaty you're exhausted you have blisters your hair is probably not straight anymore and if it's curled it's probably crazy but please don't stress about that I know that I got like so worked up over it but genuinely like the girls in the house rushing you went through the exact same thing that you went through and they get it like I am rushing girls next year because I'm going to be a sophomore and I totally get it like I went through it I understand so just don't get too worked up on being a hot mess because everyone 
is going through it and it's kind of just funny at the end of the day so don't get too worried about it a couple girls have asked me this like in my town and stuff so i thought i would address it and that is recommendation letters so i know that it seems really stressful and i was really stressed out about getting recommendation letters and how important they were but genuinely like it's not end all be all um i obviously zeta um is like a big sorority it's like all across the country but in the south it's really big and so i had friends um that i had met before even going into alabama that like found it a lot easier for them to get rec letters for certain sororities because they were more prominent in the south whereas an i had an easier time getting rec letters that were a little bit more prominent in the west coast so don't stress about it i promise you that at the end of the day the conversations that you're having with the girls in the house and the connections that you make are going to be what um like makes them want you and you want them so don't get too worked up on it i remember some houses i didn't even have rec letters for and I ended up keeping them till the very end and they kept me and so don't stress about that too much I promise you it is not super detrimental to your experience um that to outfits and style I got so many questions from friends about like what do I wear what do I need to wear and honestly the most important thing is to stay true to yourself and to what you like to wear because I know that it's really easy to get like worked up and to want to dress like other girls but genuinely like you showing your style and how you like to wear things is just like it radiates positive energy because you feel good in what you're wearing and that um, like energy is shown and the girls can see that so make sure to just wear things that you like. I know that I got all of my dresses from either Revolve, Princess Polly, Lover and Friends, and For the Love of Lemons. I think I got another dress. Actually, no, I got um, a couple dresses from this store, called du this store called Dukes, which is actually a boutique in Tuscaloosa, which is where the University of Alabama is. And I even got the dresses like the week of Rush. So no, the week before Rush. Honestly, maybe the week of, I can't really remember. But, so don't stress out about it too much. Um, I know a bunch of girls that bought all these dresses and then it ended up borrowing their friends' dresses. So I promise you that, um, like, it's all, it all, all the outfits situations work out. Um, actually, that, um, it all works out. And that kind of leads on to my next tip is to make sure to have backup dresses for, um, like, at least a couple like maybe two backup dresses that you enjoy that could either be used for ice water tea or sisterhood because you could wake up one morning and not want to wear that dress anymore i know i change my mind all the time you could tear it or sweat through it or snag it or i know my mom um we steamed a dress and got water stains all over it so if you're gonna steam your dress practice using your steamer before rush week so that you know that it works and it isn't going to like ruin your dress because that happened to me and it was honestly traumatic if i'm being serious like honestly it was like really traumatic so i would make sure to do that and just be comfortable and like show your style because that's what you're there for is to show yourself so when you are in the houses a couple little tips um i know that a lot of people talk about this and i'm just gonna like touch on it is don't talk about the three b's which are boys booze and bars um it's just not the time to talk about it like we all know we're in college, we all know what happens in college, but that doesn't mean we need to talk about it during sorority recruitment. Um, I guess like maybe the only time you would bring up a boy is if like your brother goes to the university and you're like talking about your family, then that's fine. But don't be like, oh my God, I hear this frat really has awesome darties. Like, that's just not the time to talk about it um so that is a no-go i would say um another no-go for the most part is religion and politics just don't bring up something that like would make you feel uncomfortable if someone brought it up to you um religion is like 
you can talk about it if it's like something maybe you're like really passionate about or like you have a story about like something in that realm or like maybe you went to like a church camp your entire life that like really impacted you so like that's fine but just like you don't want to be like oh are you a part of this religion because if the girl isn't it can make her feel uncomfortable so just try to like trust your judgment and see how the conversation goes obviously moving on my next tip is i got a lot of questions about like how do you know that the house you're picking is the right house and honestly like i know a lot of girls are torn at the end of rush week and even i was a little bit torn um but the biggest thing i can say is to make sure that like pointing back to where i was talking about a little bit ago is like you want to base off um, picking the house on the houses that you had the best conversations with genuine conversations like feel like these girls could be fr girls that you could be friends with I know I like would look at girls and be like and talk to them and be like oh like she reminds me of so and so who's my really good friend back home or she reminds me of this girl that I did cheer with and so like you want to make sure that the girls in the house are girls that you obviously can see yourself being friends with because at the end of the day like the that's like the most important part is just like the friendships you're gonna make so definitely um that for me was the biggest thing and then also just follow your heart um like you're gonna know and i think the biggest tip for that is on bid day when you open up your card you don't want to be thinking oh, what is the other house doing? Or on bid day when you're running home and you're at your house, you don't want to be thinking, what are the girls at the other house doing? You want to be so happy with the house that you got and the house that you want that you're not even worried about what anyone else is doing. And I think that at the end of the day made me decide um, the sortie that I chose. The biggest tip, okay, you guys, if you get anything from this video, I promise you that this is the most important part. That when you are standing in line going into the houses okay you want to not only think about could I be friends with the girls in the house you want to look around this is more for like um like sisterhood and pref you want to look around at the girls around you also walking into the house because those are the girls that are going to be in your pledge class possibly so you want to make sure that you could be friends with the girl standing next to you or behind you or in front of you because those are the girls that are in your pledge class and i think that that is so important because at the end of the day those are the girls that you're going to be hanging out with the most not just only the girls in the houses I know I just said that was my last tip, but I actually have one more. And it is if you get dropped from a house that you think is your top house in your mind, try and just finish the process and go through it and um, see. Obviously, don't end up like prepping a ha two houses that you know you absolutely don't want to be in. But if you, lo you, let's say, have an idea of what a house that you really like on like day three and you get dropped try and go keep going because you never know what houses could um like spark your attention and you could end up finding a house that you like more um so that's really why i think everyone needs to just stay super open-minded because i know that i had a lot of friends that ended up getting dropped from houses that they thought that they were going to 100% want to be in and they ended up being in other houses that now they couldn't see themselves in another any other house so just try your hardest and not get too worked up I know it's so hard and some people take it really seriously I was so excited about Rush and I'm so excited to Rush Girls this um, coming fall and so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed if you have any other questions I could totally do a part two so either um dm me on instagram um my instagram is kendall.cassiobo i'll have it linked in the description box or you could even comment on this video and i will make a part two if need be thank you guys so much for watching and um i thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys